Chris Bumstead continues to tease his exit from the sport of bodybuilding after his latest title defense. In a recent Don't Be Sour podcast, Bumstead discussed the pressure of remaining champion and touched on his eventual retirement from bodybuilding. As a classic competitor, Bumstead first claimed the Olympia goal in 2019 after dethroning Brian Ansley. Since taking the title from the Black Swan, Bumstead has only improved on the Olympia stage, showcasing detailed condition and exceptional balance. With four classic physique Olympias to his name, Bumstead quickly has become the most popular bodybuilder to ever step on stage aside from Otto Schwarzenegger. In a show of support to the growing division, Schwarzenegger publicly stated that the classic physique Olympia should be considered Mr. Olympia instead of the open winner. There have been talks of Bumstead's retirement, but he has assured his followers that he's intended to win at least one more time before calling it a career. Fans also suspected that Siba might appear on the open stage after teasing the possibility earlier this year. Meanwhile, some pros believe Bumstead's influence on the sport is now pushing into the men's open class. Retired 1990s standout Kevin Lavrone recently suggested that Seabum's dominance has ushered into a new era of aesthetics and shape in the IFBB Pro League. Bumstead addresses social media popularity and the pressure of remaining champion, quote, I'm afraid to lose. Even when 17 million followers, Bumstead doesn't consider himself a celebrity and mention people only recognize him when he's in Texas at a grocery store or a gas station. You're, you're like... I say this, this is a nice way. You're like a real celebrity. I, used I don't to, know about that. Y- you are the <sighs> most famous person that I know. Oh, thank you. I, I think if you get over a million likes on Instagram, you're Kardashian level. I don't know if that's a good thing to be Kardashian level. I'm definitely not Kardashian level. See, I look at it in like, there's like fitness celebrities and then there's real celebrities and then there's a little gap in between. Sometimes I float in that gap, but it's still a niche because like I'll go to most grocery stores and no one knows who the fuck I am. What? You know, like real celebrities like the Kardashian can't even leave their house. It's depending on the state. Like if I'm in Texas for some reason, I go to a gas station, a grocery store, whatever. One or two people maybe stop me or the gyms, of course, but it's typically just in gym settings. If you enjoyed this anabolic injection of bodybuilding content, like, share, and be sure to subscribe to Muscle Monster YouTube channel.